No, man, it was huge. And he had to pick it up with his hands. Okay, I will not endure these attacks on my character. I used a baggie and I remain clean. You're jumping to the end of the story, my dude. Well, just let me tell it my way. So, right, walking a Great Dane and it pulls really hard on the lead and he falls down. Anyway, this mirror went all the way down the driveway and into the road, my dude. <laughs> Have any of you read this book? <laughs> Trevor Noah's Born a Crime? It's like super good. I just finished it and I want to talk to somebody about it. Okay, tell us a little about it. Well, Trevor's with his mom in a minibus and she grabs his shoulder and hurls him into the road. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You jumped straight into some kind of heartwarming story. Uh, yeah. Well, listen, I want to know the shortest possible condensation of the things that are in this book because I'm a busy guy and I want to know if the things I'm looking for are actually in the book or not. Okay, I, I guess I can do that. Trevor Noah writes 18 short stories about his upbringing in apartheid South Africa as a child of mixed race. Some stories are heartwarming and some are motivated by his failures, but Noah attempts to deliver a new life-affirming message from each one through stories about pets, schooling, family, and courtship. Noah shows us that life is enjoyable even from his point of view as an oppressed class of South African. Whoa, what a bummer, dude. It's like you told me everything in the book and you just didn't even tell me anything interesting about it. But are you gonna read it? I just want somebody to talk to. It's like I know all the facts, but like nothing to grab my soul. Okay, so let me get this straight. You want an interesting fact that acts as sort of a supporting structure for the organization of the book, which, an organization which supports the main idea. Oh, yeah, brah, hit me. Okay. As Trevor hit the pavement, arms flailing, he heard his mother leap from the car behind him. In that moment, all he felt was utter betrayal. Whose mother throws him from a moving car? But now that he has grown, Noah can see that she saved his life. What he hadn't understood as a child was the complex political fabric of life in South Africa, where being black, mixed, or foreign meant you were oppressed by the white government's apartheid, a system of legal racism. In this system, Noah couldn't legally exist because his white father and black mother weren't allowed to raise him. But it's exactly the cruelty of his childhood and that moment in the minibus that Noah harnesses to show how life is worth living. His 18 short stories about pets, schooling, family, and courtship all end with a life-affirming message. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. But what about the meaning? You've told me what Trevor Noah wants me to know of, but not what he wants me to do about it. Well, he's, he's trying to make us aware of the systemic and normalized systems of racism all around us so that we can join together and fight back against them. <sighs> was that not good enough for you? Well, I mean, it was fine, I guess. But why not roll it back for me? I want you to tie it in with the rest of the story. So you want you want all the stuff from before, but uh, with that tacked on to the end? Ugh, no. Ah. I was listening when you gave your little introduction. I'm not deaf. I just want you to, like, recap it for me. You know. Uh. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. The stories that Trevor Noah shares about his life are uplifting and meaningful, but they all share a common basis. His identity as an oppressed class in South Africa's apartheid. His very presence forced people around him to confront the racism inherent in their system. And, and now, the presence of this book forces us to confront the racism around us. The problems Noah faced have changed, but they haven't disappeared. Perhaps the heartwarming joy of Born a Crime will remind us what we're fighting for and against. Thank you. Was that so hard? <sighs> okay. Are any of you going to read the book now? Nah, I, I feel, feel like, like I, I already, already have. have. Huh. How about you? Me? Sure, maybe. What's the book about? It's a funny book about racism. 
Not my scene, thanks. Why am I friends with any of you? Ha, 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 ha.